Insert Zelda puzzle chime here. Well, too bad, Sandra. We're going in there. We gotta put it into this desert nightmare. No fighting until we actually get out of here. Good job. Fantastic. basically over at this point.
attention to those things, then you can kind of start to piece together some theories about exactly what happened with this place. I'll talk about, I'll talk a little about that a bit later. Once we're done with all this, I'll probably give my view of it. Actually, I will give my view of it. Oh, right, this puzzle. I forgot about this puzzle. Okay. North is that, east is the staff, south is the bird, I believe, and west is the tree. He is obviously completely mad. That has been made very apparent at this point. Another mass grave.
And so the desert nightmare comes true. Jake is a flippin' psycho. a surprising plot twist, there is actually no love interest in this game. At least not a lasting one. Now we got some good old Red Pyramid theme from Silent Hill 2. Anyway, this is pretty much the end of the game. This is the final battle, so to say. There's three different sections where we're gonna have to walk around avoiding the Indian. This first one is really, really easy, but the last one's actually a little bit difficult because you have a lot less room and he's, he gets really fast. He gets faster after each bridge. These bridges take forever to extend, by the way. So I believe you can also take three hits from the Indian before dying, so it's not a it's not a one-hit kill if he catches you, but if you get hit during this first part, that's pretty sad. There. Hit that switch. This one's pretty easy if you just use the rocks to your advantage.
probably most people's theory as well, but... Well, my, my theory is that the family that moved to this place and originally built Dusty Creek, the original first Dusty Creek, I'm thinking that they... Yeah, they, they probably... They probably uh, killed the Indian tribe that lived there before, and since the Indian tribe was murdered, basically their spirits continued to haunt these grounds and basically haunt the mountain and haunt Dusty Creek, and, you know, they basically put a curse over the entire village, so... I'm guessing that this curse, this curse is probably what led to the deformities and the bizarre things happening over the years. The deformed child that was mentioned in one of the newspaper things, as well as how people who were born in Dusty Creek, like, over time, people, like, started becoming, like, very aggressive and savage. I'm basically, I'm, yeah. You guys pretty much get the theory. Basically, the entire place was cursed so that everyone living there and everyone who would be born there from that point on would basically be driven mad from birth. Pretty much, people were pretty much born monsters in a way. And after you use the powder and break the curse, Sounded like a really, really, really vague and really weird way to explain it. Like a very anticlimactic way, climatic way to describe it, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't really I didn't really think out how I was gonna word all of it ahead of time, but yeah. Pretty much. The, the original settlers killed all the Indians, and the Indians, their vengeful spirits pretty much cursed the entire place, and everyone living there and everyone born from that point on around that area was basically just a savage, brutal monster. Whether they were born like that because of the curse, or whether it was the vengeful Indians maybe possessing them, Whatever the case, as soon as you sprinkled that powder on the shrine, it was all broken. And all the people living in Dusty Creek and all the zombies, everything. The zombie Indian and stuff. Just... All gone. So it could be said that in some sense, maybe everyone in Dusty Creek was always dead. At least the second, the second Dusty Creek. It could almost be said that everyone there was something like a zombie and breaking the curse basically just cut off their life force. It's like they were being, they were being like, fueled by the curse itself. So as soon as the curse is, you know, lifted, they just expired and just burnt up, basically. But, yep, that was Desert Nightmare. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all next game.